Breaking right now on WUSA 9 News at 11, a four-year-old boy is in the hospital tonight after a shooting in Northwest DC. Thank you for being here with us. I'm Lorenzo Hall. I'm Leslie Foster. Two men were also hurt, and at this hour, police are still searching for the shooters. This all happened near Kennedy and First Streets. Casey Nolan has been on the scene for about four hours. He starts us off with some brand new information from police. Casey, what do you know? Well, Leslie and Zoe, there were several shootings in the district tonight. The chief says they all could have easily been deadly. This one was right next to a daycare with a four year old caught in the crossfire. It's like a firework. It's like like that. Vivian Cam heard the shots and says her nail salon customers did too. I have about seven clients at the scene and everyone was hiding down and it was just running around hiding. When the gunfire stopped, police say they found two men shot on Missouri, one street over, and a four-year-old boy hit by a stray bullet. We think that the, the injury is relatively minor, but that's hard to say with a four-year-old in a gunshot wound. DC's police chief says security video shows one of the men who was hit was firing a gun and says he'll be arrested as soon as he's out of the hospital. It's unclear how many others may have been firing or why, but Vivian knows what the violence is doing to her neighborhood. It's scary because we, we work right there and it happens right in front of the business. Yeah, I have clients who's, who's you know, afraid to leave afterward. In her decade working here, she says the crime has creeped closer in the past couple of years. She believes part of the problem is not enough light on this street and not enough of a police presence. Chief Conti says illegal guns are making everything more dangerous. What I've witnessed is simple arguments, simple disputes, somebody bumping shoulders with somebody and because somebody has a gun in that situation, they use it. I don't care whose hand there. If they're 13 years old and they have an illegal firearm in their hand and they use it, there has to be accountability for that. We checked the crime stats for this area and Vivian, the business owner, is right. Over the last couple of years, violent crime is up. Although, if you look from this time last year, like the rest of the district, we are trending better than last year. Still, though, she says she wants more done by the city. Yeah, trending better, but still not good enough. Casey, thank you so much. And